Hey everybody, welcome back. This lesson is about radiosensitivity. Radiosensitivity describes the degree to which a cell, tissue, organ, or organism is susceptible to the damaging effects of radiation. This is a straightforward idea. Radiosensitivity is simply a description of how sensitive something is to radiation. This is a very important concept to understand because it does affect how we practice radiation safety and how we use ionizing radiation. For example, the radiation dose used for imaging children should be much smaller than the dose used for imaging adults. Why is that? It's partly because children are smaller, but also because children are more radiosensitive. They are more susceptible to the damaging effects of radiation. Different tissues also have different levels of radiosensitivity. Our eyes and our thyroids are more susceptible to radiation injury than, say, our ears. That's why x-ray operators commonly wear eye and thyroid shielding, but not ear shielding. This is similar to other things that we understand. For example, some people are more sensitive to the damaging effects of the sun than other people. Two people can be out in the sun for the same time, and one will get a sunburn and the other won't. So why is that? The environmental conditions may have been different, and their biological sensitivity could also be different. When we apply this idea to ionizing radiation, like x-rays, it's called radiosensitivity. When considering a whole person, there are several variables that affect a person's response or sensitivity to ionizing radiation, including the person's age, the tissue type being exposed, their biological sex, the radiation type, and the rate of exposure. On the issue of age, younger individuals are more sensitive to the harmful effects of radiation than older individuals. The cells in young children are immature, less specialized, rapidly producing, and cannot repair radiation damage as easily as cells in adults. Also, children just have more life ahead of them than adults, so there's more time for mutated cells to turn into cancer. On average, children are about 10 times more radiosensitive than adults, especially considering radiation-induced cancers. This means that if a child and adult are exposed to the exact same dose of radiation, the child would be about 10 times more likely to experience a radiation-induced cancer at some point in their life. Different tissues in the body have different sensitivities to radiation. For example, if the entire body is exposed to the same dose of radiation, the tissues most likely to develop a cancer are the lungs, the breast, the gonads, and the bone marrow. That's because these tissues are more radiosensitive than other tissues in the body. There are some other sensitive tissues in the body, but these are the most sensitive. These tissues are as much as 10 times more sensitive to radiation than other tissues. Differences in tissue sensitivities are described by the tissue weighting factor, or WT, a variable used to calculate the effective dose. Biological sex also has an influence on radiation sensitivity. On average, women are about 35% more likely to experience radiation-induced lethality as compared to men exposed to the same dose. This means if a population of equal parts men and women were exposed to the same dose of radiation, about 35% more women would die from cancer compared to men. The reason for sex-linked differences relates to three differences between men and women. The primary reason is differences in tissue composition. Women have a higher volume of reproductive tissue, which are more sensitive to radiation. There's also genetic factors, and hormonal factors also have a role. Remember, this is only a generality. The actual radiosensitivity can vary from person to person for reasons other than biological sex. The human body also responds differently to different radiation types. For example, a dose of 10 mg of alpha radiation is significantly more damaging than 10 mg of X radiation. This is because alpha particles deposit all of their energy into one concentrated area. 
while X-ray photons usually distribute their energy through a larger, less concentrated area. The difference in biological harm caused by different radiation types is also described by the concepts of linear energy transfer, that's LET, relative biological effectiveness, that's RBE, and the radiation weighting factor, that's WT, all of which are discussed in detail in other lessons. Finally, radiation exposure rate is one more factor that influences radio sensitivity. It's a simple concept. The faster a radiation dose is delivered, the more damaging the radiation will be. For example, a radiation dose of 10 milligray received in one day causes more harm than the same dose accumulated over one year. The damage is greater, and the risk of developing a radiation-induced cancer is also greater. This is because the cells have less time to heal. So, to summarize, radiosensitivity describes the degree to which a cell, tissue, organ, or organism is susceptible to the damaging effects of radiation. There are five general factors that affect radiosensitivity. The person's age, young children are more sensitive than adults. Also, the tissue type being exposed, the lungs, breast, gonads, and bone marrow are all the most sensitive tissues. Also, the person's biological sex, females are about 35% more sensitive than males. The radiation type, alpha particles are more damaging than x-rays, and the rate of exposure. A high exposure rate is more damaging than a low exposure rate. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.